Hey guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine. I'm excited to be at the Toronto International Boat Show. We're having a great time. This is a wonderful place to be, probably the best boat show in all the Great Lakes. As I'm walking around, I'm looking for some new and innovative products to report on, and I found something. I'm standing here with John Rowley's with a company called Humber Boatworks. They've got some phenomenal products that everybody needs to know about, whether you're on the Canada or the U.S. side. So I'm going to turn you over to John and let him tell you a little bit more about Humber Boats. Hey, John, how are you today, sir? I'm very well, Eric. Thanks a lot. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, it's my pleasure. Are you enjoying the show so far? I am, yes. This is, uh, I don't know how many boat shows in a row now, but it's always, uh, it's always a good time at the Toronto Boat Show. So, uh, Canada's largest indoor boat show, and it's a great opportunity for a small business man like myself. Good, good, good. Well, now, I want you to keep in mind, we're indoors, John. I need you to use your bar voice for me. Oh, my bar voice, okay. <laughs> and tell me a little bit more about Humber Boats and what it is you have to offer. Okay, Humber Boats uh, was originally started by my father, uh, Ernie Rowley, in about 1959. He started off building fiberglass uh, boats. His most, most famous boat was the Humber Jewel. And I relaunched the company about five or six years ago uh, with the Humber Jewel originally, but it's different times. Uh, now I've gotten more into alternative energy boats. So what I've got here, for example, is a full line of uh, Torquedo electric outboard motors. So this is my most popular motor here, the Torquedo 1003. It's three horsepower. It's 100% electric outboard motor. Okay. And the package that I've got uh, with uh, today is I've got it paired up with this uh, Walker Bay Air Force 270. So it makes a great little uh, package between a uh, uh, nice uh, electric outboard motor and a uh, nice light little uh, Walker Bay inflatable boat. On a full charge, how long is that motor going to last? The motor's going to last anywhere from 10 hours at uh, sort of a trolling speed or 35 minutes at full throttle. Okay. But what you can do, Eric, is that unlike a gas motor, is you can actually charge this motor up from a solar panel. This is a 62 watt solar panel made by Global Solar and uh -huh. pulls right up nice and neat so that you can actually increase your runtime when you're out on the water. Or if you let the thing charge up over a uh, full day, your battery's right back to uh, 100%. Oh, well, that is fantastic. Now, there's a couple other Torquedos over here. Tell us about some of these. Okay, now this here is the Torquedo Cruise 2.0. It's uh, six horsepower. There's also the Torquedo Cruise 4.0, which looks essentially the same at 9.9 .9 horsepower. And you can run this motor either off two lead acid batteries, or another great Torquedo innovation is the Power 26104 lithium ion battery. So it's a 100% lithium battery. It's 24 volts. It only weighs 55 pounds. And it's a great alternative for someone who wants have an electric outboard motor, but don't want to have all the weight of a lead acid battery system. Okay, and the other motor right there on your right? This guy here is my uh, Torquedo Ultralight 403, a kayak motor. It's the world's ah. first real kayak motor. And this unit, of course, here is what uh, keeps you going. And you simply connect to the kayak's foot control steering system. So right. rather than steering with uh, the, the kayak's rudder, you can actually steer with your Torquedo motor. Oh, that is too slick. Now, I see a big set of solar panels, so let's go over here and let's talk a little bit about these. Okay, so this is uh, Goal Zero, and uh, this is another part of what, uh, what I do with uh, Humber Boats. And um, this is uh, actually it's, um, three, sorry, four 30 watt panels, so we've got um, a total of 120 watts uh, solar array here. And this powers up, which is right behind you there, Eric, on the floor. Okay. It powers up the Yeti 1250, which is basically uh, an all-in-one power supply. You can power up even a small cabin or something like that. You've got uh, inverters to plug in anything that requires 110. You can charge anything with uh, USB. And, of course, that one can power a full range of Goal Zero products you see here. Everything from our little lighthouse lantern. Holy mackerel! It's pretty bright. Yeah! And we've also got our little rockout speakers here, which is very handy. You just uh, plug in your uh, iPhone to that and close that up, and you can carry these around when you're on your canoe or on your boat or wherever. It's very handy for something like that. And then this little guy here, for example, is the Nomad 3.5. It's a 3.5 watt solar panel. And what that'll do is that'll charge up the guide tent 
portable power pack here. And you've got a little USB output, so again, anytime you have, anywhere you have sun, you can charge up the power pack and keep your iPhone or any little uh, device like that charged up, no matter where you are. Camping, on your boat, it doesn't matter. That is fantastic. So, John, let me say that you're at least leading the way in some alternative energy solutions for boaters up here in Canada. I'm very much trying to do that. I'm trying to uh, get as many people off gasoline as, as, as I possibly can. Fantastic. So, if we want to learn some more about what it is that you have to offer, John, where do we go and what do we do? Okay, uh, you can go to humberboats.ca, H U M B E R boats.ca. The company is Humber Boats. Um, my name is John. You can also give me a call anytime at 416. 659-5460. Outstanding. John, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the show. We'll see you out on the lake. Thank you very much, Eric.